And hello and welcome, everybody. We are coming to you live from Raising Canes in Laurel, Mississippi, right across from the Walmart. And I tell you what, we, we battled the snow getting here. We uh, had our snow plows out. We had our snow uh, tires going on. And I tell you, it's a beautiful day. Thankfully, there's no snow, as you can tell in the sarcasm in my voice. But, uh, hey, regardless of, of all that and the schools being let out for, for a sunny day, you know, it's always good, you know, and, and we're happy about that here at Southeastern Baptist that we had no school today, too. Uh, we're here with Coach Janine Bell of the Women Lady Charger basketball team and Coach Brad Phillips. Uh, over the weekend, they uh, we went over to Selma University, Kinsley. And you know the good thing about going to Selma? Yes, leaving. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You, you cut me to the joke. I mean... Went over there in a hostile environment. Uh, the kids played their heart out. But I tell you what, Coach, it, it was a, a good day. Uh, the Lady Chargers um, won 80 to 70, and, and there were some questionable calls at times, but you guys pulled it out. And the guys uh, came through, uh, and, you know, they played their hearts all out uh, in, in a tough environment and fell 96 to 94. Uh, well, 96 to 74. And so uh, let's talk with Coach Bell. Coach Bell, um, talk about uh, your team's efforts uh, in playing in a hostile environment like that last uh, this past weekend. I know you felt proud. Yeah, I didn't know it would be like that, but we prepared them, you know. But they went in and, and played hard and, and, and battled adversity, you know, throughout the whole game. We were not only just playing their team, but the referees as well, unfortunately. But that's what happened there. But I think they played really, really well. They played hard, okay. They didn't give up. You know, they kept going at them despite what went on during the game. You know, I just tell them, keep playing hard. Good things will happen, and it did. Absolutely. You know, one of the things I notice about yeah, adversity, you, you mentioned adversity, and that is so true. One of the things, uh, listeners out there, is uh, you guys had no cups for the water. You know, uh, they didn't bring the water till the fourth quarter. Um, you had to bring your own basketballs. Um, you guys provided the, the basketball for the game. So, you know, you guys faced a lot of adversity, and you come out on top. Boy, you're good. You got a good memory. Yes, we did. We did all of that. We knew that. We didn't know about the water part, but we figured that. I told my assistant, I said, we need to start having our own water bottles just to prepare for something like that. But, you know, um, you're right on it. I mean, game ball, we, I guess we had the best ball, so we used it. So maybe that went towards our advantage because we were used to that playing at home. That's our game ball here as well, so. Now, she may not be here, but Toon played a great game uh, at Selma, and I think she had a lot of uh, points there, uh, over 20 points. And so um, how would you describe her playing? you got to love live radio because you never know what's going to happen, folks. So how would you describe her play? Yeah, Toon is one of those young ladies. She's our experienced player, okay, our junior because we have a very young ball club. And she, you know, one thing she does best is she's a shooter. And she thought when she missed her whatever, three or four starting off, you know, you tell a shooter, keep shooting. You know, you got to miss some to make some. So she was battling an injury. She's got a little injury right now, and her arm was hurting. So she felt that, that she shouldn't shoot. But she kept shooting, and she ended up scoring 32 for us. So that was a big help. Without her, it would have been tough. So. Okay, now we plan on giving her a, a $10 gift card uh, to go eat, um, and, and we're going to give that to you to make sure she gets that. And, uh, you know, we, we, we she asked, you know, uh, you know, hey, am I going to get to go to Cane's? Well, school's out today, so uh, we're going to make sure she has her Cane's meal. So we're going to hook her up. Um, so, Kinsley, uh, I'm going to let you talk with, with Coach Phillips and uh, – Again, you never can tell what might happen on live radio, people. Uh, so, Kinsley, why don't you talk to Coach Phillips? And, uh, you know, also one more question for Coach Bell. Coach, what about this Thursday going up to Arkansas, you know, land of the Sioux Pigs, you know, taking on Crowley's Ridge College? Coach Phillips, old alma mater. Well, it's one of those things, you know, we played them here at home, so – 
We're feeling, feeling confident, but not overconfident because you never know what's going to happen on away games on their court. So I'm just, you know, today we're going to go and practice and prepare the mindset for that. So, but uh, we'll be prepared by tomorrow. Let's just put it like that. All right. Thank you, Coach. And uh, finish up in good chicken fingers, fries, and bread, and good sweet tea, Kinsley. Hey, I'm turning it over to my sidekick and partner, Kinsley Keys. Now I'm talking with Coach Phillips. All right, good job, John. I'm over here joining this good old Raising Cane's chicken myself and this good old toast and tater sticks and sauce and sweet tea. It's, t- it's all good, man. But, um, okay, so, Coach, I mean, you, we, we all go up to, to Selma this weekend, and, I mean, I must admit, there was one. I've never been to Selma, but I can surely guarantee you there's one place that I would have, I would be highly doubtful about going back. But since we did go, let's just kind of reflect on the time that we had there. So, let's look at this game. So, we come up there in this big giant state, and you know, the, the situation, you know, it was, I'll just say it was a good thing that we were all prepared. Um, the heat in the gymnasium, um, I wasn't prepared for that. I'm usually the type that likes to be warm, but that was pushing it a little bit. But, you know, we finally got water, so we'll just count our blessings on that. But, I mean, considering the game, I mean, we kind of knew it would be a, um, um, a hostile environment. But, I mean, we come into the game, we, you know, we kind of, you know, have everything together, you know, going into the game. Um, can you kind of talk about, you know, the, your, your team's mindset going into the game, your feelings about, you know, going into the game and, you know, things that um, how you were feeling leading up to a halftime? Yeah, I, you know, I thought our kids played extremely hard. Uh, even through adversity and battling through some stuff, um, but, but I, I definitely thought they played hard through the whole 40 minutes. Um, you know, we shot the lights out the first half, played really well, you know, had a halftime lead, um, you know, under some, some circumstances. Um, you know, in the second half, um, you know, we got a little foul trouble. Um, you know, our, really our biggest kid, Jalen Lett, got, got fouled out, and uh, we just struggled scoring. Had a little drought there about five or six minutes, didn't score, and – um, they were hitting shots, and um, but we will have a rematch with them back here at SBC, and uh, we look forward to that. Uh, but you know, I'm proud of my kids, proud of the kids. They played hard, and um, you know, fought through a lot of adversity. And you're right about that, and you're coaching. That's uh, that really says a lot, you know, about a team. How you respond to adversity. Anytime, I mean, you're dealing with sports. There's all a, there's always going to be adversity somewhere. But you know, the fact that you know you have a, a team that's you know able to respond positively to it. There's always going to be a response. It's either going to be positive or negative, but, you know, you, you, you train your team to, you know, just, you know, focus on the game, keep your head in the game. You know, anything negative that happens, you know, you don't, you don't feed into that. So, you know, that's a, that's a, a, a hats off to, to your team. I mean, they, to me, they did a, they did a great job. I mean, it's about, you know, coming up short, you know, they did, they did a great job doing what they needed to do. I mean, to, you know, at least keep the game competitive. I mean, making shots, you know, as often as you like, but you know, just um, when it needed to to keep the to keep the game competitive. But let me ask you this, Coach. Um, and I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, me, uh, me and Big John, we had a good, pretty good vantage point. But I mean, what did you see close to the end of the game when I mean the little controversy happened? I mean, I saw a kid just get you know just get an elbow in his jaw for no reason. I, I didn't see until after, you know. I, I think I was down on the other end talking to talking to some of our players. You know, the game was about over. Um, I didn't see the whole thing, um, but you did have some video on it and went back and watched that a little bit. And yeah, there was a cheap shot there. And um, but <clears throat> Mars Farley, you know, he, he's a great kid, and uh, he came up coach coach. You know, after after the, we got back, and he said, "Coach, you know, I'm sorry." And I said, "You know, I'm sorry too." I said. You know, I responded, you know, because I thought he was instigating it, but it was the other player. So um, I, I don't like all that nonsense. I try to not exactly. allow that stuff. Sometimes it's hard. Um, but, yeah. And it was, uh, you know, and even uh, me, Big John, we were talking about it. I mean, there was just a lot of things that were just going on during the game that just actually really shouldn't have been going on. And I would say the first thing that me and John noticed, the music that was going on, you know, Pre-game. I mean, I, I was asking John, is this a, is this a Baptist college? Or, I mean, is it a religious college or what is it? Because the music would definitely suggest otherwise. And um, 
you know, during the game, you know, the, um, I'm not sure where these refs came from. You know, maybe they just came, you know, off the street and just put on a ref suit or whatever. But I mean, the call. I mean, I'm I'm just going to be honest. I don't really know that that all that much about basketball, but I know I know a bad call when I see one, or even a bad non call when I see it. And then the 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 hazard that was going on at the other side of the gym, when you know these players, it's clearly enough space in the bleachers for everybody to have a seat, but you have these people just standing up, you know, watching the game, and then they're talking to the players, getting in their ear, just clearly being a distraction. And the rest, they didn't, you know, they didn't address that. So, you know, just a lot of concerns. It was just, like John said, it was like, it's just, just a hostile situation. And just sometimes, you know, those are just a really, really tough conditions to, to play in. And, you know, just I just feel, you know, when it comes to athletic events, especially when it's dealing with, you know, students, certain things just shouldn't happen. And, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, Southeastern Baptist, you know, is a school that, you know, they're, they're known for, you know, t- they're known for class. You know, they're, they're classy individuals. You know, they're very mature um, young individuals. So, you know, just happy that, you know, we didn't, you know, conduct ourselves or resort to conducting ourselves the way, you know, the people at Selma did. But, you know, just we have another game coming up. And so we're just going to, you know, hope, you know, that doesn't happen this coming up time. And, you know, just, you know, just hope for the best. But, um. Next week we have, well, Thursday, we're going to Arkansas. Going back home, Coach, how does it feel? <clears throat> you know, it's pretty exciting. You know, I, I have a lot of respect for uh, what they've done there. Um, you know, back when I played in the 90s, they had a tile floor. Um, and they didn't have too much of a locker rooms. Um, but it's a nice little small campus nestled up on the hills. Um you know, my former coach is the athletic director, Paul McFadden. Really? Uh, you know, that uh, Coach Perkins does a great job with the men's. You know, they've, they've, they were a junior college when I was there, and then they went from a junior college to – they went in the NCCAA, and then now they went to the NEI. So uh, they've made a lot of leaps and bounds with that program, and, um, you know, it, 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 it's really a special place in my heart. You know, we still have the school record for most points scored. In the, we scored 138 when I played. Wow. In, a, in a games um, as a team, so um, you know, gonna have a lot, of, have some support. My family's gonna be there and stuff. So um, yeah, it's gonna be, um, you know, let's hope we play well and can compete and have a chance to, you know, get a get a win there. Okay, so considering that it's you know your your all, your alma mater that's where, that you're gonna be going up against, I mean, do you kind of feel the need to kind of take it easy on them a little bit? You know, wanna. You know, you know, sometimes, you know, coach, you know, they kind of, you know, they don't, don't want to run up the score a little bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, coach, it's always great talking to you. You know, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the games. I mean, I'm, I get really excited about the games. And I brought my boy to the game last night. I mean, he was he was very excited about the JV game. And, I mean, any, anytime there's any type of ball being thrown around, you know, he, he loved it. So, I mean, he had a, a really great time there. So, all right, good job, Kinsley. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to going to Arkansas, looking forward to, to making that trip Thursday. I'll be on the call. Kinsley Keach will be shooting videos, so he'll be getting all the action while I'll be calling the game. So y'all be sure to look forward to seeing his video. And uh, we thank y'all for listening. This is being brought to you by Raising Canes, Middleton's Tree Service, and Old River Road Deer Processing. And we thank y'all for listening. For Coach Bell, for Coach Phillips, for Kinsley Keys, I'm Big John saying thank you and God bless. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye now.